Hypothermia can be deadly. Getting too cold from being in icy water or frigid temperatures can cause your body temperature to drop dangerously low. But now doctors at Mayo Clinic are using hypothermia to help save the lives of stroke patients. It started out as a typical day at work for Pally Tor and her husband Hin, but things quickly changed when Pally got what she described as the worst headache of her life. She feel like uh, she have like a needle in every place, keep poking her head. An aneurysm ruptured in Pally's brain. Blood spilled out into her skull, causing pressure to rise. The doctor says she is very critical so right now, I just let you know. So it's my kid and me, we just so scary to, to that. Scared with good reason, as most people with brain bleeds like Pally's die within 24 hours. I'd never seen a patient who had that degree of global swelling who had survived. Dr. David Freeman knew that the only way to give Pally a chance at survival would be an operation to stop the bleeding and by putting her into an induced state of hypothermia to slow the swelling and decrease the pressure in her brain. With an infusion of cold saline and external cooling pads, Dr. Freeman and his team decreased her body temperature to 32 degrees Celsius. They kept Pally that way, closely monitored for two weeks. You see, hypothermia protects the brain in two main ways. It decreases inflammation in the brain. It also slows your metabolism, so your body doesn't need as much oxygen-rich blood flowing to the brain, allowing it time to rest and recover. We were able to reduce the pressure in her brain and she was able to live. She told me that she, she feels she's very lucky and she's very fortunate that she's still alive to be with her husband and the kid. After near death, it's business as usual for Pally. The only reminders are occasional short-term memory loss and... Sometimes a little bit cold, I'm cold. Dr. Freeman says there's no data to suggest that people who've had induced hypothermia actually do get chilled easily. But Pally, who really did beat the odds and survive, likes to tease about it. Dr. Freeman says the key to surviving any type of brain injury, such as an aneurysm or stroke, is to get emergency care immediately. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.